Hi everyone, I'm in Wisconsin today. I actually fished this creek last night and caught four or five fish in it. I was recording for maybe one or two of those catches and I'm gonna put those here for you to see. Nice. Beauty. See you buddy. Got one. Nice. Yes. I was out here with a couple other people and I, I was just kind of half-heartedly filming. Had a great time fishing, but uh, was half-heartedly filming. So I couldn't really get a whole video out of that. Sorry, bugs are all over. But I'd like to catch a few more today. Maybe we can make a complete video from it. And the rod I'm fishing with today is the Dragon Tail Hellbender, which is a rod that I, I bought it used a couple months ago for like $20, because it had a couple broken pieces and, and a missing cap, and it uh, was not, not in great shape. But I bought new pieces, and so for like $50 total, I have myself a fishable Hellbender. This is kind of a weird rod to use on this creek. Uh, the fish in here aren't huge. Apparently there's an 18 incher that lives under this bush here. But uh, I watched a couple people yesterday try to catch it unsuccessfully. But this is a big fish rod. I mean, it's made for like 20 plus inch trout. And I will definitely not be hooking into 20 inch trout here. The fish I caught yesterday were all brown trout and the biggest one was maybe nine or 10 inches. And I don't know if I said it already, but I fished with this rod yesterday just because I hadn't fished with it before. Again, not really the right rod for this creek, but it doesn't matter. You can still catch fish with whatever you've got. Just had a hit in the foam over there. Oh, there we go. That's a nice one. That's a hard, hard fighting fish. That's a beautiful brown trout. See ya, buddy. It's like a 10 or 11 incher. Great fish, fantastic first fish. Beautiful Wisconsin brown. Yes. Little guy. Little brown trout. This rod is better than you would think it is for smaller fish. Like this wouldn't be my go-to rod if all the fish I were catching were this big, but it's not terrible. It's doable, it's workable, it's usable. I did not realize that branch was right above me. Didn't lose my fly though. This fly looks pretty rough. I just caught a couple dozen fish on it a few hours ago. <laughs> so it's seen better days. I'll put a picture of it on here. I think this one is Oxford yarn body with a grizzly stiff hackle grizzly dry fly hackle and uh, a little red thread head. It's a great fly. I've been catching a lot of fish on it, like I said. 
This rod can be fished at two lengths and they are, let's see, 340 and 390 centimeters. So that's like 11 and a half feet and just under 13 feet, I think. I've only fished it in its longest length. But really, this rod deserves a big old fish. Big old trout or a carp or something. Okay, it's starting to rain a lot. <laughs> Whoa! <sighs> okay. Like I was saying, it's starting to rain a lot. I'm kind of semi-covered by the trees now, but uh, if it keeps up, I'm gonna have to abort the mission here. Got one. As the rain continues, I'm pretty wet, but I'm on a quest to catch fish and make videos for you guys. Little brown trout. Sweet. I think that guy came from over on the right side somewhere, kind of the middle of the right side. This rod gives me kind of an unfair advantage. It's kind of an unfair fight against these small fish. I can just kind of pluck them out of the water, basically, with how uh, relatively stiff this rod is. It doesn't feel like crazy stiff when you're fishing with it, though. Like, I know it's a strong rod, but it doesn't feel like I'm fishing with a broomstick or anything. Got one. Oh man. Got one. Behind the big green boulder. Yes. I knew there were fish there because we passed a bunch of fish in there yesterday, but as I was walking to this point, this is all very shallow, and I was spooking just a ton of fish over here. So I was afraid that all the fish I'd spooked had gone up and had poisoned the <laughs> that pool there. There he is, Mr. Brown Trout. It's like a eight incher. See you, buddy. Yeah, look how green and pretty this is. Sorry if the the GoPro lens is smudged. It's hard sometimes when it's, when the conditions are like this. When it's kind of muggy and uh, it's raining. I'm doing my best. Got one. Just a little bit, just like a couple feet farther upstream from the last one. I saw a couple different fish go for it. This was the lucky, or unlucky, one that actually ate it. See ya. Oh, he's still in the net. See ya. There we go. Got him. I saw him come and get it. Whoa! That's a good fight. That's a good fighter. This might be the biggest one I've caught in here. I think the biggest one last night was like nine inches. Maybe eight. Not especially large. This one sure is fighting. Oh, okay. This is definitely a bigger fish. Yes. Yes. That's my biggest one out of here. Let's see. How long is it? That's like eight and four. Yeah, solid 12 incher. See ya, buddy. Well, that's gonna be the fish of the day right there. I don't think I'll be able to top that. 
Oh. Not sure what happened there. Got one. It's a smaller one. But I'm happy that he's decided to eat. There he is. You know what I mean though? Like, really, I don't care about size. Like, I'm much more interested in the size of the creek. I've said this before. I'm much more interested in the size of the creek than the size of the fish. Like, creek size is my first priority. And then once I get that, yeah, I'll, I, I don't mind catching big fish. I like catching big fish within the parameters of the creek, but I, I don't go out seeking big fish. If I were seeking big fish, I would not fish small creeks. Man, this hole just keeps giving and giving and taking and taking. <laughs> I've hooked into a lot of fish out of this. I've landed, what, three or four? Oh. Didn't know I had a fish on. Smallest one yet, maybe. Definitely one of them. I'm having a great time. This is a beautiful place to fish. The fish are willing and eager. Loving it. Got one. And this beautiful stretch right here. Look at these cliffs. Look at these rocks. That tree sticking out horizontally. Gorgeous. As is this fish. Pretty little brown trout. See you, buddy. All right, guys, the rain is really coming down. I'm soaked and I'm getting a little bit cold. So I'm gonna head back to the car. Uh, really enjoyed fishing this creek though. I landed eight fish, lost a ton more, but I really enjoyed it. And I liked fishing with this rod, the old dragon tail hellbender. Really nice rod, actually. I, I have enjoyed fishing with this rod more than I thought I would, to be honest. It's a good rod. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you liked seeing a little bit of the beautiful state of Wisconsin. I certainly didn't do it justice here. This is just one creek in an area with a lot of creeks, but uh, the fishing was good and I had a good time. Hope you guys did too. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out my flytyingyarn.com store if you're looking for yarn for your fly tying needs. And then finally, I have another YouTube channel called SUV RVing that covers all of my non-fishing adventures. If you wanna check that out, links to all of those things and more will be in the video description.